How come you're getting dressed up again? Because, uh, Mommy and Daddy are going to go to Quentin's funeral and you're going to go to the sitters, remember? And what happens there exactly at the funeral? We're going to say goodbye to Quentin, honey. for you or Haley or Jamie. Well, actually, we were wondering if there's anything we could do for you. How do you mean, more than me? Well, I know that your mom has been pulling some stuff with the company, and I don't know, I guess having dealt with parent insanity, I just wanted to check your head, see how you're doing. I'm fine. Really? Yeah. That sounds like something I would say. Look, this thing with losing Quinn is, it's hard. And I have a feeling it's going to be a pretty prominent thing in our lives for a while. That doesn't mean that your problems are any less important. All of us aren't here for you. But like I said... You're fine. You can handle it. It's all good. Look, I hope that's true, and maybe it is, but... The thing is, the two of us have been down very similar roads. I mean, we were in the same cliques first. We both felt the same pressures, same expectations. Our parents were like children. And we both grew into kind of bad versions of ourselves way too fast. So I think you know, I get it. They never really gave us a chance, did they? Our parents? They didn't know how. Look, the thing is, you made your dream happen, all right? And even though I didn't quite get there, when it was taken away from me, I dealt with it alone. It was stupid, selfish, and wrong. So if your mom tries to take your dream away from you and you feel that same pain I did, I've sort of been there, okay? I'm gonna be kind of pissed off if you don't come talk to me about it. Anyway, thank you for coming today. It was a lot. I know you didn't know Quinn, but it doesn't surprise me that you're thinking about other people when all this stuff is going on with you. It's not bad for a girl who never had a chance. <laughs> 